Hi, great one. Welcome to my channel. I am Kali Cousins. If you are human like me, one of the things that you've given thought to, one of the things that you had struggled with will be what does the future hold? Growing up, it was one question I asked myself several times daily. A lot of people ask this question, but they've never sat down to think through and find solution. What does the future hold? What if I end up like my father or my mother or my neighbor? What if I have great calamity, catastrophe? What if I lose my leg, lose my hand, lose my eye, lose... What if... You know, these questions about the future are asked by many individuals and you ask that question till you die. But you see, I conquered the fear of the future. Why I still ask the question, what does the future hold? I conquered the fear of the future by simply understanding that the future has no option than to hold the right thing for me. And how did I do that? The first thing I did was I thought through the fact that every money anybody has ever made, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're an accountant, whoever you are, if you've ever made money on earth, it is because there's a human being that you worked for there's a human being who you serviced there's a human being whose problem you solved so i figured out that at every point in my sojourn here of the earthly plan there will always be humans with me here on earth and if there will always be humans with me that means number two humans will always have problems so I found out that there's no need to be afraid of anything. Because if humans are going to be here on earth, and if humans will always have problems, then that means humans will always need solutions. So I found out that the problem is not what will the future hold. The problem is, am I prepared for the future? If humans will always be here with me, Humans will eat, humans will breathe, humans have emotions, humans will always fall into trouble, humans will make love, humans will love their kids, humans will want to marry, humans will have businesses, humans will ride cars, humans will drink water, humans will get frustrated, humans will get depressed, humans will have mental health issues, humans will go mad. Humans will be sick, humans will quarrel, humans will fall into troubles, humans will need accommodation, humans will watch television, humans will need entertainment, humans will need computer, humans will, humans will need websites, humans will need somebody to sweep their houses, humans will need to build houses, humans will need to buy you know, land and build houses and buy houses, humans will need to win elections, humans will need to all kinds of things humans will always be here with me and humans will always have problems from their hair to their toes to the emotions to their physiology and autonomy to um, anatomy to all kinds humans have so many parts humans have pets their pets will have problems tooth egg uh, you know rashes and uh, you know all kinds. Humans will have houses that will crack, that will need to be pulled down. Humans will have legs that will be injured. Humans will have hearts that will be broken. Human, all kinds of problems. Humans will have hair that they want to have hair cut. They want to have their bread breaded. They want to have eyeglasses or have eye problems. They want their cars to be washed. They want security men and women. They want flamboyants. They want to hire bigger cars. They want to buy bigger, you know, aeroplane. All kinds of problems humans will always have. 
And humans will always be here with me. And there is no God coming down from heaven, no spirit coming down from the spiritual world to solve this problem for humans. So I have my job well cut out for me. So because humans will always be here, and logically, humans will always have problems. How and why should I be afraid of the future? This future will have humans inside of that future. These humans will always have problems. So why would I be afraid of that future? There's no need. So I have only one problem. That problem is because humans will have challenges and problems and because humans will always need solutions. The only reason I will fear the future if I've not sat down to say what and where, what will I provide the humans as solution? Where will I play in the human problems? Where will I play? Will I play at the level of raw materials? Will I play at the level of processing and packaging? At the level of marketing and sales? At the level of consulting? At the level of education and training? At the level of, you know, standardization and regular, uh, um, regulation? Will I play at the level of whatever? Will I touch their hearts or their head or their hands? Will I help them with their emotions? That's the only problem I have. If I can sit down and find out the problems I will solve for humans, Whatever it is, will I wash their cars? Will I wash their clothes as laundryman? Will I fix their taps as handyman, as plumber? Will I, you know, drain their gutters? Will I build their houses? Will I draw their houses? Will I be a jobman? Will I be a driver? Will I, if I can just find something I can do and do it well and do it for longer and do it quantitatively and qualitatively, if I can just find a problem that solution i will be as rich as i want so i found out that i don't need to fear the future so i conquered fear of the future by sitting down to develop solutions now i found that the solutions you can develop for humans could be in three forms you could develop products to solve human problems you could develop services to solve human problems you could develop platforms to solve human problems. You could develop any of these or combination of the three to solve human problems. Immediately, I'm able to find out what to develop. And now I sat down and started developing them. I started developing them. When I started developing them, I started testing them out in the market with minimum viable product to check whether they're buying or they're going to buy or what they will buy. I try to find out the people who are willing and able to buy after testing. And I try to find out how much they want me to charge them and how they want me to bring it across to them or provide it for them. Some want it as middle class people, some want it as high net worth individuals, some want it as um, you know, the poor or the masses. So I found that that I could have products, services, and uh, platforms. As high energy, low income, or low energy, high income, Haley and Lehi. I found out that I can also solve those problems by owning a company that will organize this and solve the problems. I found out that the way I solve it for humans, there are clusters of humans that I may solve it for and make more money. I found out that I could solve it for the federal government, I could solve it for the state governments, I could solve it for the local government, I could solve it for high net worth individuals, I could solve it for you know micro, small and medium enterprises, organized private sector, international oil company, bank, and I could solve it for associations, Nigerian Medical Association, Rotary Club, I could solve it for Nigerian Bar Association, I could solve it for Town Planners Association, I could solve it for Market Women Association, I could solve it for Village Association and Barabo Association. I found that, you know, too many people, I found that, that I could solve it for ministries, departments, and agencies of government. And there are too many of them, more than a thousand in my own, in my own country. I've also found out that I could also solve it for arms of government, 
the executive, I could solve it for judiciary, I could solve problems for, you know, the legislatures. I found out the legislators, I found out that I could solve the problem in diverse way. I could solve it online, I could solve it offline. So I developed those products. And then I found out that a lot of people who are selling better than me, who are doing better, is not because they have better products. It is just because they have the confidence to talk to decision-making machines. So I decided to also start talking to decision-making machines. Who are the economic buyers? The people who can buy my stuff and they buy it in big time. I found out that those people exist at the topmost level of organizations. I said, how can I reach them? I found out that there are, there are ways to reach them and there are ways they gather and there are places they gather. Then I started working on it. Started working on it. So I found out that the problem wasn't to fear the future. The problem, the, prob the point was the future wasn't the problem. What was the problem was, I don't know how the future will work. I don't know how the future will look because I don't have the indices about the future. But using these three things, number one, humans will always be in the future. They will always be in the now. Number two, humans will always have problems. And number three, problems will always need solutions. So... Number four, what can I offer? With this, everything started coming together. Now, if you've not liked, shared, subscribed, follow, commented, I want you to do that just right now. Share with your friends. Share this video with your friends. Comment, subscribe, turn on the notification button, give us a thumbs up so that you can always get good stuff that we bring here for you so let me recap i talked about how i conquered fear of the future and i talked about the fact that a lot of people are afraid of the future no matter how much you've saved up the president of your country is afraid at the moment there is riots in kenya even adjoining presidents are afraid they don't want domino effects so at every point you are afraid of the future of your opponents of your of sickness of you know accident of everything but one of the worst fear is the fear about money about your wealth about because a lot of times even the scripture says money answered all things i think that should be ecclesiastes 1 uh, 10 verse 19 or so so one of the worst fear is the fear of money or of not making money because you know if you make money your rents your problems this one you can buy solutions and others so fear of the future fear of making money so i discovered that there are three things that are constant here number one as far as i am on earth humans will always be here on earth with me now if that is true then it means that at every point, as far as I'm existing here, I will always have humans who will always have problems. And the problems are varied and mirrored, and I've mentioned some of them. And if humans are here, then there's another thing. Humans will always have problems, and they will need solutions. So if they have problems and they need solutions, so the problem is not about the future. The problem will be about me sitting down to fashion out solutions I'll give to humans. And I saw that now I saw I could give them solutions in form of platforms, in form of services, in form of products. And I found out that I could give it online, I could give it offline. I found out I could give it to high net worth individual, I could and companies, I could give it to the masses and you know lower network in the in net worth individuals. I also found out that I could make it healthy or lay. I could make it high energy, low income, or low energy, high income. I want you to use this video as a wake up call to the fact that you don't need to be afraid of what happens tomorrow. 
you just need to know that if you can have prob solutions you solve uh, um, solutions you give to problems whether you are at the deeper side whether you are at the farthest side of the earth people will come looking for you in fact today i read a story uh, uh, one somebody was saying when they were growing up that there was this mad person who used to be on the street where they pass through to go to their school and um every time you come out there you see people gathering there sometimes you see it, up to a hundred people gathering there and what was the madman doing for them the madman used to give them betting code like you say okay bet so so and so number so so and so number so do you know that a lot of people were coming there on daily basis and they started having testimonials about people who came and then the man gave them number and then they won millions of naira and all those and that was how humans who are sent could come and stay from morning to night waiting on a madman who released numbers now at a particular time the story as i read it went on that the madman stopped her being you know successful with his predictions so he give you the numbers you go you play you don't win after some time everybody left him nobody used to come there again remember even when he, when he was potent when his when he when his uh, predictions were working somebody who won money came to that his madman shed and built a better one for him where he where he he will stay where he was staying you see the madman had value because he could give prediction and when he never had value again everybody ran away value can never be outdated find your value remember you cannot go to the bank until you do it is only doers that go to the bank it's not just talkers and thinkers if you think and talk also do if you don't do you can go to the bank yes subscribe comment share give us thumbs up and turn on the notification button see you soon